Hey, what's going on, guys? I've been thinking and thinking about exactly who should be the one to take down Sayla because, let's get real, she just owned the fuck out of Mira Jane. She's in her strongest takeover, and she still was no match against Sayla. And I thought about Loxus coming in, maybe not to, but that's been overdone. Personally, personally, I want to see Elfman come in and maybe he gets some type of new takeover, some type of new beast soul or something like that. Because as awesome as it would be for Mira Jane to get a new takeover and ultimately defeat Sayla and Loxus to come in and not to and everyone else, Elfman has some scores that needs to be settled with this chick because she's the one that used Elfman as a tool to destroy Fairy Tail yet again. So he needs to get revenge. And also, I think it's time that this guy got some more development because the last takeovers that we were shown his newer ones anyway was the cheetah like takeover that he used in the grand magic games and the lizard man and the, the cheetah man one was awesome but it didn't do the job and the lizard man one he just defended against that guy's attacks so we need another awesome beast like elf man to just come out the woodworks and just show us the power of a man but the question is where would elf man get this new takeover from it's a wild out there theory but just entertain it for a second you know how mira jane destroyed those tubes that the demons are regenerating themselves from there was one demon that was half you know reborn or whatnot and i believe it's the one that wendy owned so he's he already looks kind of like a beast he's the most beast looking uh demon that there is in tartarus so far anyway and so what if somehow since he's probably like a half demon half liquid mess on the floor since mary jane destroyed the tubes what if somehow and could take over him that would be awesome elf man would have the power of a beast and a demon and personally like i said i think it's time that this guy got some more development and he needs to be the one to take care of sailor because she just fucking trolled him and used him as a tool but i would enjoy it more if elf man did get his revenge on sailor rather than natsu coming in or loxus or mary jane pulling out some op new takeover another thing i've been thinking about urza versus neo minerva will she be able to take out minerva by herself i mean sure she could bring out the nakagami outfit again but the thing with that was it said that it can cut through all magic and its sword against magic is invincible now that minerva is part demon she has enchantment slash curses so i don't think that nakagami will be as useful against neo minerva and we're not clear what neo minerva's new enchantments or demonic powers are she could have the same type of magic but in like curse form or she could have like a new plethora of awesome abilities so that one's kind of hard to predict it can go either way now let's talk about and who the fuck is this master and the guy named marde guile i believe his name was whatever his name is at the end of the latest chapter he was holding the book of end but what will this master demon like the most powerful demon ever what will he look like is he going to be like a huge uh deliora or lullaby kind of demon or will he be around human size but just like crazy strong i honestly cannot wait to see what's going on with that and like i said in my previous review marde guile or whatever says something like it's time to let the darkness out the gates to hades are about to be open and that kind of is a parallel to what hades said when he said tell Mekarov to open up the door to light or let the light out or whatever now off the top i believe i said this already this reminds me of some kingdom heart stuff like the door to light door to darkness etc etc so with that being said i'm like 99 percent sure that hades is talking about lumen Historia. now i believe whatever is inside that door whatever Lumen Historia is, was made to defeat the darkness of Hades, or the darkness of Hades was meant to destroy whatever Lumen Historia is. Because they're both big doors that have either light or darkness coming out of it, and I really cannot wait to see what's going to happen when both doors are actually open. I want to see what's inside of both. There are so many questions, and I'm hyped up to see what this end character looks like, how some of these battles are going to play out, and how strong is Master End? I mean, even Zed of himself 
praised this demon. He called him Master End or Lord End or something like that. So for this big boss guy like Zareph to be praising anyone, anyone, then that means that they must be badass. Also something I want to talk about very quickly, the relationship between Silver and Grey. Like I said before, I do believe that they're brothers. So does this mean that Grey is also part demon? Now, a lot of people have theorized that Silver was a human and then experimented on and made a demon, kind of like Minerva and what they were trying to do to Mira Jane. But just how he's talked to by the other Tartarus members, he seems to be a demon from the Book of Zeroth himself. Like how, I forget, I don't know if it was Sela or the other demon said, why are you in your human form? Why aren't you in your demon form? This makes me believe that he has always been a demon. But I could be wrong. Like I said, nothing has been confirmed yet. But I am like 100% sure, well, like 99.9% .9 sure that Silver and Grey are brothers. Just Silver's reaction to hearing Grey's name. And I mean, come on, Silver and Grey, they are very similar colors. That cannot be a coincidence. But if Silver is 100% demon, it'll be awesome to see Grey awaken some dormant demonic power. But just how he was brought up, you know, he seemed to be raised in a normal village or town or whatever and then Deliora came and destroyed everything that's not really the background of you know a demon character it seems like he was like a normal kid but I mean we don't really know what happened before Deliora came we don't know if Gray's parents or who he believed his parents were were you know if they adopted him if that's his actual parents we don't really know anything about Gray's background before the old meet up or whatever so there are a lot of things that could happen tell me what you guys think what are your predictions? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think Elf managed to be the one to get rid of Sela? Do you think that Grey is part demon? What do you think about the Urza and Minerva fight? What do you think about End? Tell me what you guys think. This has been Jamie the Chia. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.